Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Liberty. But before we get started on this one, again, right here's my link, right there is my QR code. You can scan it with your phone and it will take you straight to my free mobile app. You'll receive homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, this one we're gonna be touring today is the Franklin. We are here at Liberty. It is a community in the Southwest. It is built by American West. We're actually very close to Henderson, right by uh, the Costco, if you know where that is. So this one is three, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> 3,021 square feet, four bed, two and a half bath, two car garage. This one starts at 624,880. Now again, this one being the model, <sighs> I'm guessing this is closer to 800. The HOA here is 55 a month. Lot premiums are anywhere between 26 and $40,000. Keep all those things in mind while we walk through it. I'll point out a lot of the options. But again, if you can do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps the channel out, helps it grow. If you wanna stay to, up to date, I am trying to put new tours out every single day again. So make sure to subscribe. Before we go back there, I do like this model a lot. They have a very similar ones over at um, Rainbow Crossing. Right here, I'll come out, we'll do the bathroom first and then I'll show you the um, coat closet. Now this is the one they're using. So we have our toilet, we have our pedestal sink. It is nice. <laughs> it's always so funny with the windows though. At least they have some sort of uh, window treatments uh, because that's like below hip height. So peekaboo, I see you from the road. <laughs> it's always so funny, but it is a nice size bathroom. We spin really quickly. We have our coat closet. It is decent size, again, just with our single bar and shelf. Now again, if you are seeing me for the first time, I say it in all my tours, but if you are thinking about buying new, wanna buy new, contemplating buying a new home, before you call the builder, before you fill out information online, before you talk with them or go and see the models in person, call me first. Let me help you out, let me work for you because you speak with the sales associates first, they're not gonna let you be represented. And again, fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does, so again, all my info down below. Again, a lot of upgrades in here. Fireplace is an option. All of these can lightings are an option. That railing that we just saw, right there. Normally the pony wall will continue all the way down. They do have different banisters and railings. I think you can even get a bedroom up here. I don't remember. I know it's funny. They only say four bedroom, but these are like four to five, four to six. I'll link below. So big open area, it's nice. I do like this loft. And I wanna say there's a bedroom over here because we have, let me back all the way up, that storage area over there in that closet. But it is large, it's, it's a big loft. It's just, they have a lot of big furniture in here. If we come straight across, we do have a big, big storage area in here. Look how large this is. <laughs> and even some extra windows. We come on back and around. Cause I know you could do a downstairs bedroom in this one and I believe you can do even an extra upstairs. And I'll point out different things as well. Now, I'm gonna say right now, this is your standard bath. This is an optional bath. But we'll get to it just in a second. Or actually, we'll start right here. Normally, this would just be a big, big closet. So, optional bathroom. They did the upgraded flooring. We have slightly upgraded cabinets. They're just the bumpers, but they have the hardware. We have our um, cultured marble top. I do believe this is a standard stone that you can get in the bathrooms. Undermounted sink, big mirror. I do like it. We have our medicine cabinet. We have our toilet and then shower only. And I know they used to do the composite uh, fiberglass material. I think the cultured marble is standard. I do like this rather than stone. You can always opt up for more, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seams to clean. Whereas you, with stone, you'd have all the grout lines. We have our shower head and our valve, but I believe this is the optional one because usually you can get extra bathrooms in these homes and it's just a big, it's basically an empty room, which a lot of people, they store other things that they would normally put in storage or in the closet 
And then that way it doesn't get destroyed by the heat, which is an awesome option. We have big linen closet and then we have first bedroom. And it's pretty good size. It's pretty big. You can even tell it's a little dim in here because they only have the one light. You can get can lighting if you want. The window is big. Normally you're gonna have extra um, lamps in here. So things to keep in mind when you start getting into the larger bedrooms, they do tend to get a little dim. People always ask, what options should I pick? And I tell people like, pick whatever you want, it's your home. But at the same time, I always recommend the structural options, like the bigger sliders or the can lights, or if you want that extra bathroom, because if you try to put that extra bathroom in later on, that's going to be a little bit more challenging than ripping up carpet. So things to think about. Master suite. I love how much glass is in this room. So that one and that one have the cranks. They can open. That middle one is stationary. They leave the little two guys up there. I believe those come with one of the window packages. King size bed, two nightstands. I feel like there's so much room for activities in here. We need like another bench or another chair or something. This is so big. We spin around just so you could see. It's large. We have our dresser, little tiny TV for the room. We have our chair, but there's like, I don't know, eight feet right here. There's a lot of space. If we come on down and check out the bathroom. Ooh, they've changed it up a little bit. Hmm, I'll have to check. And I'll also link the other model that's very similar as this one. What they did was they have the shower over here and then there's a big tub at an angle at Rainbow Crossing. It's basically the exact same model. Uh, model. I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's driving me crazy. But we have our same cabinets as before. We have our same stone as before. You can option up, of course, if you want. This, wind, or this mirror is so big. We have our medicine cabinet. Hmm. I wonder if they changed it up a bit because the one with the tub in the corner, it's very pretty. And then there's big windows and whatnot. Again, it is a Vegas window, but nonetheless, you can put some shutters or curtains and it just makes the bathroom feel a little bit more fitted, I guess would be a good word. We have our toilet and I do wish these doors came out. There's so much room in here because when they go in, you're gonna have to like stand here or up on the seat to try to sneak out. Right here we have our, ooh, pretty. Now, <laughs> this is not standard at all. I love all the lighting in here. This is awesome. Normally it's gonna be single bar, double bar, and shelf. Now they went absolutely crazy in here. I think this is Closet Las Vegas who does it. Single bar and shelf, display area, double bar, double bar, some more display area. We have, I think this is double sided on each side, we'll have to see. You have the area for jewelry, you have closets, Las Vegas. You have jewelry, watches, all of that good stuff. Is it? It is. It's a nice shoe area. I love the LED inserts, it's cool. Now, I haven't seen it in a while, but this is probably like, I don't know, $15,000. It's really expensive when you get the closets through the builder. Keep those things in mind. They even did the extra shower head, so you're only gonna get one valve, you're gonna get the one up there. That one is an option. A lot of people try to pick those as well. It's nice. I wish this extended just a bit more and then you could have your toweling off area and you wouldn't get the floor wet. But just these little tiny, teeny tiny details. All in all, it is pretty nice so far. Let's go ahead, head on downstairs, or I think there was even one more bedroom and a bathroom. But again, if you have any questions, give me a call, all my info down below, right here. So this is the standard bath. The other one again behind us was not, and we have another bedroom. This room's big, <laughs> it's really big. Now that's a king size bed in a secondary bedroom, two nightstands. You can see it helps with the lighting in here, but it is, it just gets dim when these rooms are this big. I've seen secondary bed, or sorry, master bedrooms smaller than this one, it's just, it's big it's a big bedroom i mean you could easily have the bed pushed over have a little sitting area in here again king size bed in the secondary bedroom we have our dresser you can kind of see over there how it gets a little dimmer we have our two-door closet slider we have our double bar shelf i would have died to grown up and had a bedroom this big it's huge 
Spinning on around, same exact thing, double vanity in this one. This one's a little bit bigger than the one across the hall. Same cabinet, same undermounted sink, nice big sheet of glass. I do like the mirrors in here. And we have our toilet, tub shower combo. Again, fiberglass composite tub. I think they're starting to do the cultured marble. I'd have to check. Tub filler valve and shower head. Now, if you want to option this up slightly, what you could do is get the glass enclosure in here. That is a little bit of an upgrade because normally this would just be the bar and shower curtain, but they do have a couple little things that you can do. This is pretty nice with how this builder operates. They do have a lot of options compared to some of the other builders out here. You know, they could do different bathroom number counts. They could do different bedroom number counts. They can, you do have a lot of flexibility with this. Now, the only thing I will say is sometimes because of everything right now, it's still hard to get materials. They are starting a lot of homes before you get to option it. So it's the only crummy thing I'd have to say about that. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps the channel out. So before we see all this, Ooh, it's pretty, it's big. We do have our Harry Potter room. Kind of surprised it doesn't go back and underneath the stairs because a lot of times you get even more stairs to go under there. Hey, it's big. It's a big, big open space. Now, where do we want to start? That slider is 100% optioned up. Those windows, that's part of that window package. Those are an option. That slider is an option. I do love this kitchen. Now, this kitchen counter is optioned up slightly. It doesn't usually come this big. Let's go ahead and go all the way back and check out this room. But before we do, I just wanna show you here. I wanna show you the backyard. Unfortunately, they're locked, so I can't go out there. Normally, you just have a standard slider here with extra windows. Now, when you buy new, you need to remember, you need a budget for the backyard. It does not come with the home. It's not part of the purchase price. It's not part of the loan. You're responsible for it. This backyard is good size. It used to be thirteen dollars to $15,000 would get you a decent backyard. This, with all the concrete and everything, this is probably twenty. If you do a pool spa heater, before landscaping, is about fifty grand. So think, if you're going to do a pool, think sixty to eighty grand, really minimum. Now, this is a little cubby right here. You can do all this. Again, this is all extras. It would just be open. There'd be really nothing in here at all. They did the uppers. They did kind of a like a bill paying station, a little study area. I bet kids would love this because it's kind of hidden, it's neat. This would normally be just completely open, but this bedroom, when you option it for the bedroom, this walls off and becomes the closet. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Now, again, if you option for the door with the whole bedroom, normally it would just be kind of an open office den space. You'd have a bigger window there, no slider. You'd have your cl um, closet right here in that corner and then you would opt it for the bathroom in here. But normally when you purchase this home, that's just a big open space again, like that upstairs bathroom would be no closet, no bathroom, it's just storage. There'd be a door, but all in all, it is a nice size room. I've seen it with the bedroom. A lot of times they spec it with the bedroom. It's pretty nice. It's a little odd with this corner, but again, it's big enough. Let's check out this bathroom. Again, like I was saying, it would just be open space. So they opted for the bathroom. You get your sink, your toilet. Again, upgraded flooring. That is interesting. I'll have to check out that tub. We have our single vanity. We have our lights. But this is kind of neat. I've never seen this before in one of these builds. It has a bench as well. I feel like this is a little bit of a slip and slide. <laughs> But again, what you could always do is close this off and then you would have the glass enclosure instead of the shower uh, curtain. That's neat. I wonder why it was not like that in their other models. They switch them up a little bit when they start new communities. It's always funny to see these little tiny changes and whatnot. Coming out of this room, here's your view. It is big. We'll start with the living area and it's, it's, it's large. We have our fireplace. Again, these are about I want to say like five grand. It is not real. It is a holographic image. We have our TV area. And then if we spin back around over here, it's very, very open. And they have a bunch of extra lights in here. You can see you'll get some for your dining area. You'll get some in the kitchen. The pendants are not standard. Those are extras. But even right here, this table could be like completely square, not rectangle. 
There's a lot of space. We have our server area. It's big. When we come back around, the nice thing about these islands here, there's so much overhang that you could literally put chairs around the entire thing. Now on this one, because the sink's in there, you can't on that side, but just all the way around, you could do chairs. Now I know this island is slightly bigger than standard. So again, this is a little bit of an option up. I believe this is one of their standard stones. I think so, it looks like it. Lots of other options in here. Again, the cabinets are a slight option. Upgrade, the backsplash is upgrade, the lighting underneath is an option. You can do double uppers if you so choose. You have the ability to do solid or glass. Again, normally what it's gonna be is just the 40 inch upper, no double upper. And this looks like it has a slight uh, appliance upgrade as well. Normally you won't get the fridge. Ooh, this is nice. I almost feel like, mm, is this where the, Bathroom is no the, the toilet or the shower or tub or farther over. Normally just uh, wire shelving. Now you can option for this. You can even get the sliders. It's nice. And I do like how high up it goes. Now you would need a step stool, but there's a lot of storage in there. If we spin back around. We have our sink. Normally it will be stainless steel. You can go this way. You can go a lot of different directions. I do like this. It's pretty. We have our faucet. Here's your view. You're like in the middle of everything. I do like, I'm usually more of a fan of seeing the sink on the counter, not in the island, but I do like with how big this island is, with how like close you are to everyone, it uh, kind of makes sense on this model. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have our dishwasher. Now you can opt for double ovens. You can go crazy here. They just have the standard. Uh, again, I think a slight upgraded, but more standard five burner cooktop. We have our microwave. And again, the reason why this one, I already tell you, has the wood paneling is because it has a vent. So that's nice to know. Sometimes they recirculate back and forth throughout the house. So just something little, something to see. We have our fridge. And you can even get bigger fridges if you so choose. We have our, now this is nice, our laundry room. Everything in here is an option upgrade. Normally you won't have these lowers, you won't have the countertop. This whole built-in with the folding shelf is not standard and you will not get uppers. You'll get a shelf, that's it. And then if we spin a little bit more, right here's our two car garage. So really nice model. Again, this one starts at 625. You add a 40, we're, it's gonna be probably 850 maybe. There are a lot of options, a lot of upgrades. You do not have to do anything like that. And when the builder specs them, they don't put nearly as much into these. Usually most people are putting about 10%, maybe 15% into these homes. But then again, don't forget about that backyard. If you have any questions on this tour, any tour, new resale, anything in between, give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Love to hear from you, love to help you out. Again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps the channel out, helps it grow. I am back. I am trying to put new tours out every single day. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.